Today I'm sitting down with one of my favorite people in the world, Madame Emeline Michel, or maybe, should I say Mademoiselle <laughs> Emeline Michel. Just really wanted to catch up with her to see what she's been up to, what's happening, music, life, and more importantly, food. So let's go check with her. Hello, Mademoiselle Hello. Emeline. <laughs> It's always a pleasure seeing you. So I know you're always traveling. So where are you coming from and where are you off to next? <laughs> I'm now in New York, traveling to Paris uh, soon, very soon this week for two shows and the release of uh, Quintessence in, in France. Okay, what is Quintessence? Quintessence is my... A uh, new meal. Oh, is it a belly dance? <laughs> I saw a movement. <laughs> That's my new album um, that came uh, out exactly March uh, 15, is it? Mm -hmm. 15? Yes. I've had a chance to listen to the album. Did you? I have to. I better. <laughs> <laughs> but I have um, to say, amazing, amazing, amazing piece of art. Every time you do an album, I'm always like, oh my God, this is my favorite Emily album of all time and then you do another one so can you tell us like what are some of your favorite tracks on the album you know as a, a mother with many children does mother have favorites <laughs> So, but I think there's certain tracks that, that I would say when the audience received them and they reacted, that kind of complete the whole entire blessing. And there is a uh, Messi La Vie that everyone, even if it's a Canadian, French, or Haitian, they really relate to that song. And which is really being thankful for what you have and stop complaining. So that's that's the whole vibe of the album. And then um, Pacadomi, which that's I know favorite. some people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you know I would say if you want to know m many more, you gotta get the album. Oh, <laughs> they will, they will, they will. They will. They say you're off to Paris. Yes, you've lived there. You go there continuously. What do you love about Paris, especially? Let's get to food. This is why I'm here to talk to you about, because I know you love food. Yeah, oh my God. I know you love cooking it, by the way. Doesn't that show? <laughs> no, it doesn't, actually. Not yet. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. But what is it that you enjoy about Paris? Like, what's the food culture there like? What is it like? There. I think the, the spirit behind food is amazing with French people because they kind of take a good excuse to get out of the office and sit down for hours. It's a good pretense to talk. Uh -huh. And the texture and the color and the minimalism behind the fact that you, they, you don't have that big portion. Mm -hmm. Because we, when we love food, the more we have, the better. Of so, course. But I think the, the whole concept about like uh, the break between the meal, you have the nice dessert it is real when they say like they have pleasure of the palate. Mm -hmm. And I think that celebration of a meal, the whole, the whole concept about like really it's, it must to be, if you're eating something, it's not something off the counter, mm -hmm. it's good. You sit and you breathe and you inhale it and then you, <laughs> you enjoy it. So I think that I like. Okay. So that is the French component or the French, your French, your food. What about Haiti? I mean, they that's your foundation, you. oh, right? Yeah. So what's the food culture there? Like, well, how did it start for you? Or what do you remember? You know, in, in our country, uh, it's like uh, in my family, family of five, my mother raised five and father raised five children coming from Gonaive, where it's, it's everything spicy yes. in terms of people's up, spicy people. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I was um, the one that was a chef of the kitchen because ah. they said, my mother asked, uh, uh, you know, we had helpers and they are part of our family and they sent me to, like, if she's cooking rice, I have a small portion that she allowed me to use some of the, every ingredients and spice it myself or meat or goat, or mm. legume. You're making me hungry. Oh, are you kidding me? I, I am, <laughs> this is a one hungry woman, right? <laughs> You're a foodie, you love food, you have all this knowledge. Now, let's just say I had some guests coming over, I had to make something real quick for them, but I wanted to have a little Haitian flair. What would you make? Ah, that's quick, easy. 
I would make a maimune and I lost it. So okay. then let's get in the kitchen. How about you make me some maimune? Are you serious? Yes. Well, let's... back maimune and women, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything for your food. Let's go. Today, guess who has me in the kitchen and who will be cooking me a meal? We have with us Emily Michelle, who's going to show us a quick and easy way to make one of my favorite dishes, maimune avec aronso. Uh, avec aronso. So she has me here slaving. And I'm chopping up the almond stuff for you. And I'm going to put it in my little miniature pillow that she jewelled me about. Because it's not the traditional no, one. the real pillow. But we're this in a nice a, New York City apartment. In this, is a nice, this is too much of a... Really cute. So, on, on, on get cooking. Yes, on get cooking, cooking. Okay? So, so this is what it's going to look like when, we, when you're done. Pretending, because I'm pile. pounding. Because I'm pile. <laughs> when you're done pretending, pounding. It's gonna look like that, and uh, some people pre prefer it finer. But I don't know. I like the little bit of chunk of, yeah. So Nadej, Florimo, you're gonna be giving me all the ingredients. First I'm of the all, assistant we... today. I love it. <laughs> I just love when people cook for me because you know, as a caterer, no one ever wants to feed me. They're always asking me for food. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to this. So. Uh, well, simply when you when we're making my mule and also since different place in Haiti do does it differently. Some people add up lard instead of they put alonso, but they add up lard on top of it. But we're gonna be a little bit more conscious, healthy, right? A little health conscious. conscious. So the ingredients but particularly is like diced tomato. It could be bigger or smaller, but this is what we have nicely artistic. Artistically cut, cut my my <laughs> Thank you, thank you. My chopping <laughs> skills, my cooking have... skills. Yes. <laughs> Attention. Um, we have garlic. It could be finer also, but we got chop. And then um, this is little pinch because it's supposed to be yeah, very little um, pepper, ground pepper. Uh, salt, sea salt, preferably. I believe like the freshness of ingredients make great food. Yes. What do you uh, think? Come on. Of okay. course. It's all about the So, freshness. dime and fresh dime and uh, uh, parsley. Which we have right A little here. bit, yeah. And then, and then uh, onion. Beautiful. The white onion. So, what do we do? We let it warm up very nicely. No water should be, or water should be dissolved. And then I love using um, almond oil because normally um, my mule from Haiti, you batli, they, they kind of, there's, this is all, 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 all come on, really, like, bois. Kie bois. a wooden spoon, wooden spoon, kie bois. and then normally you, to finish it up, you got to kind of mash it, mash it forever with it, and it gives you a texture, a fine texture, especially because I'm using kind of the coarse, like a medium coarse, um, kind of uh, corn corn meal, not too too coarse, because we're talking about a quick meal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that is the size we're using today. So olive oil, but you could use almond also or canola, anything. You said the almond makes it stick. I, it no, gives I you think that it's gluish. Gluish. This is the texture. It gives it is that like, coli. Yes. Ah, I like it. When you're from I'm the, the north, north and we're talking, <laughs> here we go. So we just warm up or olive oil, this is what we're using today, and then the next will be the garlic. And let's say we're preparing that for four people, four people that love food, not mm -hmm. for, people like <laughs> for people like us. For people like us. So we're going to use like a good amount, because I believe garlic, because also it's, um, garlic is uh, known for helping digestion, there's all the good flavor on top of it. So we're gonna use a good amount of garlic, two scoop, let's say two. And all the recipes will be on our website for, for our viewers, so yes. don't worry about it. You'll be able to replicate this mind. Smell that. And then tomato, because it takes a little while for the tomato to kind of melt in the, I mean, to cook and simmer with the garlic. So let me have a little salt, Nadesh. Ooh, merci beaucoup. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm just fighting for my meal. <laughs> for survival. For right? survival. Uh, and let's say that you you can put less 
oil if you want to, but in and and more if you want to, because normally I would choose less mm -hmm. for the concern of the the waist <laughs> the waistline the waistline concern. Mm -hmm. So this concerned. is a little bit of uh, I would say three pinch. Yeah, mmm, it smells nice. It smells good in here already. Yeah, yes. Just the garlic. That's why this, I tell people there is no meal without garlic and onion. To me, yeah. nothing better. And with one thing I find also, it's really let them simmer, not big, big fire when you, especially at the initial stage of, of cooking, um, you know, when you have spices like that, especially tomato, mm -hmm. let it simmer and get that flavor yes. out, right? Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, my favorite herb. Everyone needs it. And even the color. I, I think what uh, is more amazing for me with cooking is the 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 pleasure of color. I think mm -hmm. we talked about it also to see all the colors and then the way it, it already gives me put me in appetite. Yes. Yes. Makes so. you want to eat it. And that's what I tell people all the time. Yes, you want food that tastes good. But you also want food that looks good because we eat with our eyes first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So this is all. I mean, uh, as I say, also for the fish, we could go more. Or this is medium. Uh, I would say medium size. Mm -hmm. Not like since we're making for four, four people. Mm -hmm. So, and we relax and we talk in the meantime <laughs> because it's gonna take a. Uh, <laughs> No, somebody is very frugal <laughs> on the other so side. You so, should. <laughs> yeah, because normally this is what it looks like for people that never been to Haiti and never, have not even, never seen that. It looks exactly like that. And then when you, there's certainly small little bones, but you don't, it will kind of, it's all going to melt and simmer in the food. So, and when you're chopping, of course, this is what Nadej, this is Nadej's job. She's going to have to transfer some of the funds <laughs> to me. So we make it even thinner before we go to the pilon, which is... Where we mash it yes, up. Yes, we okay. mash it up. Okay, so remember, guys, look for smoke herring at the supermarket, okay? Nada. And the inevitable, especially coming from Gonaive, a big, nice red pat pepper. Mm -hmm. So which... That. <laughs> but the secret with that pepper is not to, for people that are brave, you make a little cut right in the middle. So you don't have all the seeds which make it extremely spicy and trust me, you will pull your tongue out. And you leave it right in the middle of the food. And, and you leave it in the food while it's simmering, simmering yeah. but you never poke it completely, don't open it up. So, so that we makes it too hot, yes. right? And that's a habanero pepper or scotch bonnet pepper, I think, right? Is Both of them are equally yeah. hot. And, and the idea, I, I've noticed it's more when I see my mom, mother or my, how my grandmother or anybody in the kitchen was doing it, it's really to get the skin, the taste of the skin. Once it leashed out, you take the big pepper out. You just want that flavor. Yes. Okay. And we cover it up. Where is it? Where is our cover? Yeah, our cover. <laughs> That's it. So you let all that simmer down. A little bit, but yeah, just enough to have. So you're not frying it, just simmering it, because the tomatoes is going to retain some the water, water, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. They're starting. They have to be very tender, off the skin a little bit, so this way you have a, a feeling you're making a paste before adding water. Okay. Before. Okay. So we're giving it. What? Five minutes? Five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Mmm, it smells nice. It smells good in here. Yeah, yeah. Just the garlic. That's why yes. I tell people there is no meal without garlic and onion. To me, yeah. nothing better. And that's the time where we just add up the water. Oh, but coming from a very granola family, you don't really know how much you see or how much. We'll, we'll you will, <laughs> you will please. Yeah, you will use your eyes, the, the, right? Yes. I tell people, we're cooks, we don't really measure, right? We have an, in, we are intense, <laughs> uh, instinctive <laughs> cookers. Cooks, exactly. Yes, so. But we'll tell our viewers. Yeah, <laughs> so we will say like two, for me, two like that will do. So you let that come to a boil? You, you, yes, you let it come into a boil and of course you check and see if you have enough salt and 
And there's a big secret for me. Mm. That's very good. You know, they always laugh at me when I do that in my classes, my cooking really? classes. They're like, what is this thing you Haitians do? Always tasting things in your hands. <laughs> That's the perfect time to take your big pepper out. Ah. And then you just transfer it wherever it's convenient and quick. And this is so, a secret? <laughs> that's the big secret. I find that, uh, find out that um, vinegar, it could be white vinegar, but let's say we want to remain very healthy. We go that um, apple, what is red? This is the red wine. Red wine vinegar. And you put just a little bit. For whatever reason, it enhance every flavor, mm -hmm. any type of spices. And I saw my mother doing that even with the rice. And so it's not eating. to be shared when you see Tasty, you don't <laughs> You don't know quite so that that's that one spoon like that. So this is family secrets we're getting right about now. Be careful. I've never put vinegar in my mind No, so I'm going to try. So while our water is boiling, so this is our mind, I wanna show okay. our audience what it looks like. Cornmeal. This is what cornmeal, that's what you're gonna look like for in the supermarket. And you said medium, medium corn, of course. Right? I mean my preference is medium because I find it like that the the other one looked like Closer to polenta, mm -hmm. and it, it got so mushy, mushy that it, it doesn't have the texture, the fiber. Mm -hmm. of, yeah. And this gives you more yes. body, right? Yeah. So this is what it looks like. But of course, being Haitian, we have to wash. No lave tout bagay, no lave. And not only that, I think it, it, when you look at it closely, maïe toujours bien pie. There's always like a little remaining of the, you know, when you peel the corn. There's a, always a little bit of the remaining of that, yes. so it it allows you to wash it away. Okay. So once it like it goes one side, and that's when we when the water is boiled, you just scoop it up and you put it in I inside. Can see of. That in so I like watching you. <laughs> Can you remind me of true true Haitians? What remind you of true 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 that's real authentic Haitians? Authentic one. <laughs> yeah, authentic and real good. Yeah. I'm about to put that in the pot. Yeah. So we need uh, definitely yes. That's, Check it out. Yes, order is ready. So all you do, and you don't need a glove because it's important to feel. <laughs> so put your mai mula in you have there. To feel your mai feel your mai with hands clean. <laughs> and then we feel oh my and we feed everything you can fit. And that's the time you keep stirring the dish. Oh and the Because my mule, my mule is known as a like some you know the substance get very thick very quick ah, okay. yeah and it lumps up it lumps up yeah oh, okay so and you want to smooth my moulin so that's the time yes. and i go in yes. <laughs> that's not the time to get nasty oh i'm not getting nasty that's in my evening <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. And you continuously do this. Right? You have to stand by it. This is not the type of a meal you go and you relax and have a glass of wine. You stand by it until the end. That's a good friend. But it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> so we're going to keep stirring. Yes. And then we'll come back and we'll see what Amai looks like. Yes. Keep stirring because after that he's going to get thick. And that's, that's when you know you're going to have to cover it up. And let um, really to film. Press it, chop, chop, chop. <laughs> so while we wait for a mahi to simmer down and get all kole, what's the kole word in English? Um, Sticky, glued and glue, 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 for now, and I think it's like uh, colors just make your heart palpitate. palpitate. So, we like if we can palpitate. Oui, vraiment, off camera, I will be very. <laughs> so, I think, you know, and also, uh, there's different variants, like mm -hmm. different, you could really add up your element, what ah. sent you, that leave you march for action. That's the basic of my salad. But mm -hmm. if you are a meat eater, for example, mm -hmm. you can always have some pieces of, I don't know, chicken or... It's just a good basic to have fresh salad. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're doing the, first of all, the, the salad is cucumber, um, tomato. I'm a, I'm, I'm a tomato addict. I just think that? it's like, it's supposed crazy. to be excellent for women's health and also there's tons of great, 
liquid vitamins in tomatoes. One good tomato a day should be exactly what a good egg, one egg. Really? And for everybody's information, tomato is not a vegetable. It's a fruit. Did You knew that, I, right? I kind of knew that. You are full of information. No, well, I am <laughs> I'm not a singer, I'm a as we're singer and, and an, an a singer, a, a, production assistant, <laughs> tomato knowledge person. <laughs> Yo, no, but you're no, but knowledge. I really enjoy when it comes to food discovering new stuff. I just find out like there is no way you got to go for fruits when you're talking about tomato. Okay. So we're going to make it. Let's say people are hungry sitting there. We're going to make a quick, nice fresh salad. So. Tomato first, if yeah, everybody can. Kind. And, what and kind we, of tomatoes are these? These are the ear, how do you call that? Heirloom. I never know how to pronounce it with my Haitian accent. Hair, think about hair and loom. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we can, we can have to remember when we go to the. Okay. Yeah. And I think when it comes to make it really pretty, you got the, that's a cucumber that we, you slice. Artistically, let's see oh, if we can use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing it the Haitian way. <laughs> if you have a peeler, you can use a peeler. But you can yes. basically remove the skin, right? That's it. Me and then you it. just cut it up into dice. Nice, dice, nice, yeah. Dice. Yes. Okay. yeah. So we have that. And can I have a big, big spoon? Yes. Big Here spoon. we go. Nice. Then, as much as you can, really remain in the. We're talking about texture and color. This mm -hmm. is right there here. And then you get a little bit of the yellow. You got to think about like a oh. panther. <laughs> and here we are. This is um, the bell, yellow bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Pepper? Pepper. Pepper. So dear, you bell pepper. Yellow bell pepper. And then I always find that when it comes to the... That's when you add some of the. Some of them can be cut because they're so tiny they can fit into one mouth. Mm -hmm. A lump? One mouth? I hope so. <laughs> one <laughs> mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, now, then you have your red. this is a red pepper. Oh. So we have something very fresh and springy. I'm, I'm born on the first, 21st. I mean, first day of spring, mm -hmm. March 21st. So I love when it's beautiful like that. And I notice you have different cuts and different things. Is that for the whole texture? I like aspect? that. It's beautiful. You like it? It's beautiful. All vinaigrette is very basic, very simple. Nice. We already did it for that. We so, did for everyone. But what's in here? Tell me. It's that. That's lime. Yeah, yes, okay. that's the base. Officially. Mm -hmm. Lime. Like really one, one entire lime squish in a bowl mm -hmm. and then you put a little bit of garlic like mash preferably garlic. mash and then after that you put olive oil and then we put like a uh, salt and then pepper okay that's and that's it. it and then you stir it up as much as you can to make it look blended all together very nice and sometimes what i do when i want to have extra luxury <laughs> luxury i add a um, mozzarella, the little bit of like small ball of mozzarella. That uh, oh, how do you call it? Balls. What's the balls? The tiny one, and it <laughs> add up not only another white texture. So we have white uh, uh, mozzarella, and then that's it. Oh, nice. You mix it up together. Look with the wooden ball. We have that's it. A wonderful fresh springy salad okay. that can be uh, a side of the maimouna that is very hot. Yes. Like not hot in terms of spicy, but it's like a meal that is very coarse. Okay. Yeah. So we put that to the side. How's our body so, looking? This is what all my hair look like. Ooh, look at that. That's thing. what I was waiting for. <laughs> That's how you know it's done. That's how you know it's done. And this is what it looks like. Because you're practically in the, the north of the country. They say, back my moulin, you go like that. And you make it. Finer, and that's why you get the gel kind of texture. Can you use texture. a mixer? Can I mix it? No, but I'm, I'm that's happy. very foolish question. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> when you do that, you go right back to polenta, and you don't have mai moulin from Haiti. I think the, the identity of my omai is to be coarse, strong. Here you go. You want to taste? 
That's good, my name is Mimi. Vis Dieu. Who put that there? On m'a cherché à cette, okay? Tout ce TV magic, our counter is all clear. Oh, that's it. Now we're ready to eat him, Mimi. And then no? it's a sincere starvation. <laughs> it's a sincere, I like that. <laughs> that's a good title you for the show. That's so good. <laughs> sincere starvation. This is a good <laughs> title. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is missing right now? I can tell you, and we can do it. Mm, a good, too good slice of dry zaboka. Yes, but I know you're very particular. Right? Okay, it not too much. Keep it perfect. nice. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for zaboka all over New York City. Mm -hmm. We are blessed with uh, fruit and vegetables uh, counter all mm -hmm. over the city, which is not every city you find out. That's true. So use it your best, but the zaboka is seasonal. Okay. So, so far, this is... You can't say I didn't give you enough. I didn't say that. And imagine, like, when you add up the avocado in that bowl. This is, like, what they but call... But I really appreciate that. Really? Yeah. This is for you. So, thank you. Thank you, you for me. having me on camera cooking, which is <laughs> the first time. And we've talked about being on camera cooking before my makeup starts to melt. I think we need to get out of here, so I'm looking forward to... Seeing you all next time. You like it? Very good. Oh, Pima. Oh, yeah, this Pima. Oh, yeah, mainly because it's the flavor. Mm -hmm. And that's how I like Pima. And let me put salt. You know, I'm. I'm. Um, I'm. 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 I'm